What's up gamers, this is Skyblock Scrubs, back again for another OP video. Today, uh, Skyblock's pretty dry, so we're going to be talking about the balance changes. Some of them are actually, like, pretty big, but some of them are like, why Hypixel? I don't even know. So yeah, we're just going to get into that and uh, pray to the Skyblock gods that they bring us that foraging update that's in the next, next, next update, or whatever. So yeah. Alright guys, so starting off, these are the most important ones, I would say. Uh, first one's the Claymore. They added two gemstone slots, which is 32 extra strength with perfect jaspers, and a extra 30 crit damage. So, I mean, I'll take the buff, because I have claymore. And also, they updated G-Drag. Now, instead of giving a flat, like, 5 strength per 5 magic find, it's 0.5 strength per 5 magic find. Like, 0.5% strength, I mean. And since I have 1500 strength, that's 7.5 per 5 magic find instead of 5 per magic find. Five. You know what, that's kind of confusing sounding, but basically I'm getting 2.5 strength more per 5 magic find I have. So yeah, uh, more damage. So that's pretty cool because it kind of just buffs my whole setup. Um, those are the ones, those are the two biggest ones I would say. The next biggest one is uh, the Juju. Uh, they made it go from Ender Slayer 3 to Ender Slayer 5, so all the Juju Nons who just did like a few T1s that had 300k health, like bro, it's so easy. They gotta actually like somehow get to 5, so sucks to suck. And then the Livid Dagger also got a change where its attack speed went from 100% to 50%. So that's not too bad, but its DPS is definitely, like it's gonna nerf 30 virus nons who are uh, relying on their Livid Dagger DPSing. So yeah, those are, those are the big ones I would say. Alright, now for the ones you've been waiting for. Before we get to the really juicy ones, there's a, a, a change, a rework in how the fairy souls work. So, essentially, they don't give you base stats just from fairy souls, but they do contribute to your base stats. So basically, they added uh, skyblock levels, and your skyblock level gives you base stats. So your skyblock level is influenced by your fairy souls, but it's also influenced by a bunch of other factors such as skill, average, catacombs, although not much, like the, your dungeon like catacombs level does not really matter that much for skyblock level. It's just different things like that, kind of like how you get bits. Um, just like playing the game, you just level up your skyblock skill. So yeah, fairy souls also contribute to your skyblock level, which in turn gives you base stats. So overall base stats are boosted or like, I say boosted because I'm thinking of Clash Royale, but they're buffed, uh, just like the Night Witch. Psych, she still sucks. And uh, yeah, man, it's pretty good for early game players, uh, which basically just means mid game players at this point because early game's gone. So here's the other balance changes. So here's a huge one. You guys better listen closely to this one because this is a game changer, bro. Cat now requires eight stacks of enchanted rotten flesh to craft a zombie pet. So this was changed from eight zombie hearts. So that's going to be a huge change in the economy. You know that zombie hearts are going to go down in price. Therefore, you can buy a ton of them now while they're up and then sell them when they're lower and make bank. So uh, also, we got... Uh, did you mention the Claymore Gunnermut? Yeah. Okay. Well, that one's irrelevant anyways. I knew he mentioned that. I just that was a rhetorical question. The Ragnarok axe. This is what we care about right here. Weapon damage from 250 to 200. I mean Ragnarok axe was pretty OP, I'm not gonna lie. Like if you rearrange the letters it makes kangaroo. That's besides the point. Uh it was way too OP. Everyone was using it. Everyone and their mother was using it to be honest, and uh much needed ability nerf from 2 times to 1.5 strength. And uh, Cleave got reworked, but here's here's the cool stuff right here. Hazmat Enderman Power Stone crit damage went from 20% to 25%. Also, this, okay, this one's actually sick. Dude, the Heart of Mountain pickaxe abilities, my brother, now show the correct call to action depending on the state. This means, my brothers, my gnarly gnarly brothers, if you live in Maine or Wisconsin, doesn't matter. If you use your Heart of the Mountain pickaxe ability, it shows your state's call to action, brother. Pretty sick if you ask me, brother. So, yeah, good to see that that's what the Skyblock dev team's been spending their time on. 
And uh, I might actually come back to Skyblock because Mineral Armor now works on Glowstone. Dude, I had to quit. I had to quit Skyblock. I'm sorry, guys. I'll admit it. I had to quit because I went in the Blazing Fortress to mine with my uh, mineral armor because it's the best mining setup. Everyone knows that. And man, it just didn't work on glowstone, so I just couldn't mine anything other than netherrack. So now I can finally go in the freaking Crimson Isle and mine some glowstone, baby. So yeah. Uh, also, garden updates coming out pretty soon, so that's cool I guess uh, plants versus zombies coming this skyblock so that's pretty much all we got for you today hope you guys enjoyed uh, I know we haven't been streaming too much recently but the plan is to stream every Friday and Saturday night at uh, 9 p.m. mountain time or 9 30 p.m. mountain time sometime around there uh, and yeah we'll uh, see you guys in the next one wow